Hello Zambia, hello Africa. This is your girl Janice on KETV and you are here on Girls for Change, a platform where we get to talk about young girls and young ladies and the challenges they face in society. Today my topic is going to be on sex. Sex can either be defined as a characteristic to distinguish between a man and a woman or it can either be an intimate physical connection between a man and a woman. Today, my topic is going to be on intimate connection between a man and a woman. Mostly in our African culture, girls are not taught about sex due to the fact that traditional beliefs that sex is a taboo to talk about with parents and their girl child. This has brought so much problems and caused, uh, caused a lot of problems in a girl's child's life. Reason being these girls, they end up doing things that they're not supposed to do due to the fact that they don't know anything about sex. Mostly you'd find that these girls, they get to hear about sex from their friends, which is something that they would want to experiment as their friends would tell them, oh, I've got a boyfriend and this is what we do with my boyfriend. This is what we do with my sugar daddy. And this girl, upon hearing that, would want to experiment, would want to have a view of what really sex is. And when we talk about uh, sex on a young girl, what does this sex do to a young girl? Most of these young girls, they'll fall into early pregnancies, which will cause a very, very big problem in their life. As a result, they'll have a flow back in their education background, whereby some of them, they even drop out of school. Some of them will just become single mothers and finding it very difficult for them to even have a very stable marriage. Mostly these young girls, they get affected psychologically, emotionally, and physically because of what they have gone through in life. On the other hand, these girls, they get exposed to sexually transmitted diseases such as STIs, which is gonorrhea, syphilis, and the one which is really talked about, which is HIV AIDS. And as we all know, HIV AIDS has no cure. Mostly these girls, when they get HIV and AIDS, they get so traumatized because this girl knows that there is no cure about, about HIV and AIDS. So this girl will do whatever she would want to do in life, knowing that my life has ended, I've, I've got nowhere to go. What has caused that is because there was no par parent and child talk so that this girl can be able to learn about, a about sex, about how to handle herself in society, about how to react when a man touches her on her sensitive part of the body, about how to react when she gets abused. So these girls, they find themselves in such kind of situations that it traumatizes them. And it is very, very difficult for them to come out of it. Most of them, you would find that they will even go into prostitution. As a result, this has caused a lot of uh, girls to be in so much illicit things and doing things that they never thought that they would do in life. How can we help out to make sure that these girls, they are not found into such kind of issues? It is very much important for a parent, especially a mother, because as a mother, you are the key in the house. You are the one who's always been found with these children, who's always found with these ladies. It is your duty as a mother to talk about sex with your girl child. Sex is not a taboo to talk about with your child. Reason being, you are trying to prevent certain issues, certain circumstances, certain problems that are going to arise in that girl's child. Because once these problems come up, you as a mother, you as a father, or parents at large, equal the society, you are all going to be affected because you're going to have a lot of street kids, a lot of children who are going to be orphans. Because some of them at the end of the day, looking at what she has gone into life, she's a single mother, she's not even getting married, she has even contracted HIV and AIDS, she will end up committing suicide. We've heard a lot of girls nowadays committing suicide outside, like in the society. This has caused these girls to do so because they're not talked to by parents, especially mothers. It's very much important as a mother to talk to your girl child about sex. Sex is a very, very critical issue which needs to be handled in our homes, especially when a girl child does has grown to become a woman. You can start talking to a girl child at the age of 10, 12, going up there, because these are the most vulnerable ones. Mostly these girls, they become vulnerable because of the things that they see from their friends, 
the things that they see from on I mean on social media, they would want to have such kind of things. As a result, they engage themselves in two sugar daddies, in two boyfriends who've got money, those people that can be able to give them money to buy all those things that they need in life. At the end of the day, these girls will become something else that the society is not even going to appreciate them. So it is very, very much important for parents, especially a mother, to talk about sex in the home. Sometimes you cannot even like talk to her. You can find a neighbor. I've seen a lot of women who, who would say, me, I cannot manage to talk to my daughter. But we engage somebody who she knows that this person, if I engage her, she'll be able to advise my daughter in a correct way, in a right way. And that woman will come up. That's why if you look at in the old days, ceremony, I believe you've heard of those. Those things were not just for fun. Those things were there to educate a young girl, to educate a young woman on how to handle herself in society, on how to handle herself when a man touches her on her sensitive part of the body so that they are able to know what this man is talking about. Sometimes these men, they cannot tell these young ladies directly that they need sex from them. They've got this kind of um, attitude of trying to impress these girls by giving them, them things. who will be busy buying gifts, gifts, gifts. At the end of the day, mm. you come up and say, what I need is sex. As a result, this girl will end up giving in due to the fact that this girl has been what has been given a lot of gifts and she doesn't want to lose those gifts that have been given by that man or that sugar daddy of hers. So it is very much important for these girls to be talked about, to be taught about sex, to be taught about what really men can do and what are the consequences of sex and what are the consequences of being involved in premarital sex. And when we come to talk about um, HIV and AIDS on young girls, HIV and AIDS is something that has become very, very much difficult to eradicate. As we are busy fighting for HIV and AIDS to end by the year 2030, how can we end HIV AIDS by the year 2030 when we're not talking to these young girls? Because these young girls are the ones who are most vulnerable. And they're most vulnerable not to young, to young guys, but to older men. These men, they are using these young girls too satisfy their ego. They are using these young girls because they would want to exploit them. They would want to, to experiment those things that they cannot do with their wives. These days you'd find on social media, they post a lot of things like sex styles, how to do it. They will post so, so many different things. This man would watch that or would see that. At the end of the day, since he cannot do that with the wife, he'll find a young girl, a young lady, and she will take advantage of that, that young lady by giving her all those gifts, all those things that she wants in life, all, those, all these luxury things. At the end of the day, this girl will give in, and he'll be using that girl, not knowing that this girl's life is being ruined. This girl's life is going to a drain. Because this man, for him to be at the age where he is, or for this man to go and propose that girl, there are so many ladies that he has proposed to. And you cannot know somebody who has just come from nowhere, who is married and has grown. Maybe that man is 42 years and you're just 24 years. And this man comes and says, oh, I love you and I would want to be in a relationship with you. How many girls has he been like in a relationship with? There are so many. At the end of the day, you get to contract HIV and AIDS. When you contract HIV and AIDS, most girls have found it very, very much difficult to accept. And like... These days, it is very, very much difficult for these girls to even come out in the open to tell their partners that I'm, I'm like this, I'm HIV positive. At the end of the day, this girl will infect that boyfriend of hers, that young boyfriend, or even when they get married, she will infect that husband of hers. And that husband also won't just be faithful to that girl. She also, that husband of hers will also go out there and infect another one. So the chain will continue going on and on and on and on. And at the end of the day, we'll always, we'll always be having new infections each and every day. What has caused that? It is because of sex and having multiple sexual partners. Sex is something that needs to be talked about. And especially young girls, they need to be taught 
that sex is really, really a bad thing, especially when they're still young, when they are not married, so that they are able to have a bright future, they are able to know how to handle themselves, they are able to know how to react, how to answer that man when he comes and tells them that, he lo that I love you or I've bought this for you. They are able to know how to reject, how to come out of that situation. So parents, especially mothers, I'm urging you, always have time, always have that platform of talking to a young girl about sex so that they're able to know the facts and what the, the outcome of sex can be in their lives. This has been your girl Janice on Girls for Change. You can subscribe on our YouTube channel, which is KETV Africa. Like, share, comment on our Facebook page, which is KETV. Bye-bye for now.